Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Utex Smart Mercury. This is a 2-in-1 mechanical keyboard. It can be used both wirelessly using an included nano receiver. It's just USB, which is plug and play. You can insert it into a Mac or a Windows computer. And it can also be used as a regular kind of wired keyboard. Just some very simple specs and features are printed on the back, including the different modes that you can access. It is a 104 key layout, which is pretty standard. In terms of charging, it takes about 2.5 hours to completely charge. And then you can use it for about a month before you need to recharge it again. So inside we have just the keyboard itself presented on top, and we have the micro USB cable which you use to uh, have the keyboard act as a wired layout, and there's also a gold plated full size USB port. And then the keyboard itself, we also get a keycap remover which you can use to pull out the keys if you ever want to swap them for a different style, if you want to wash them or replace them, and there's also a user manual inside. So here's the keyboard, and in terms of design, it is rather pedestrian. It's made entirely out of this polycarbonate plastic for the frame. Definitely not the most uh, premium feeling thing. Uh, some keyboards do have a metal plate, for instance, but I guess they cut the cost. We have arrow keys and a dedicated numpad on the right. And here's what the blue switches look like underneath the plastic keycaps. And since it is a wireless keyboard at the end of the day, you're able to use it for things like presentations. You can take it away from the computer desk, maybe onto a couch and play pause, uh, you know, a movie that you're maybe streaming on a TV. It's definitely more versatile in that sense. On the top, we have access to the micro USB port for charging and also for acting in the wired mode. So that's pretty nice. You can just plug it in while the batteries are being charged. You can just use it as a regular wired keyboard. The side of the keyboard has a wedge shape that gets a little taller towards the top, making it more ergonomic when you're typing. And there are also arms on the back, which you can pop out if you want to make the tilt even more prominent. Now, we also have some basic specs printed on the back in addition to the battery compartment, which is important here because underneath you'll find the nano receiver. So the first time that you use it, you would want to take this out and then plug it into your computer, uh, maybe store it in here if you're traveling or on the go. It's also important because the batteries, when they are new, are wrapped in a protective plastic sheath, so the contacts are not actually touching. And peel off this plastic protector, otherwise the keyboard will obviously not charge. Now this is in fact a pretty common rechargeable battery, it's uh, simply the IH650 which, which has a 2000 milliamp hour capacity for a combined total of 4000 milliamp hours. You find these a lot in power banks and other small electronics. One additional feature I didn't expect is the keyboard seems to also be waterproof. So you can see these ventilation ports all the way on the back of the keyboard. It allows liquid to pass through, so it is going to be slightly more durable and rugged as well compared to the typical mechanical keyboard. So overall the design again is fairly understated, it doesn't look too flashy, it's not really in a gamer style with a lot of extra accents going on, and overall I like it, but I do think it could be slightly more compact because it is a wireless mechanical keyboard, maybe not having the numpad would have been a better choice because they can make it smaller, making it easier to tuck away into a backpack because right now it's still a little bit on the heavy and bulky side. I've turned the keyboard on and a clarification I want to make is it does only have one color for the backlight which is red on this particular version, which I think is fine, but it's not fully RGB. It's also a little on the dim side, this seems to be the maximum brightness right now. You're definitely not going to notice it too much in a brightly lit room, but with all the lights turned off it does become more visible. And going through some of the modes here very quickly, I can tap on function and one, function plus one, will turn on the specific kind of custom modes. For instance, the arrow keys will be backlit, so you can use this when gaming if you're only accessing these keys to move your character around and then to shoot and then to change orientation for instance. This is uh, tapping in one again will turn the entire keyboard back on. Function and insert will turn the backlight completely off if you want to conserve on battery. Function plus insert will turn it back on. Home is turning on what's called the breathing mode and that just slowly kind of dims it and makes it brighter again, but it's going at a pretty slow speed as you can see here. It gets slowly brighter and then slowly dimmer uh, little by little and then tapping on home again will stop and pause the breathing at a particular point. You can also tap on function arrow up to make it brighter and arrow down to make it dimmer. And again, this is the brightest that the keys are going to be. Red, the black, it's a pretty classic color combination.
Some takeaways, I got a pretty comfortable typing speed just using it for a few minutes. It's a very standard layout, so you don't have to relearn anything like on ergonomic keyboards, for instance. The sensation in terms of the keycaps, the blue switches, are very, very similar to uh, kind of the other low-cost options that we've tried in the past few months uh, by companies like E-Element, for instance. It feels almost identical. There is a nice tactile sound as well as sensation when you're typing on these keys, which makes them much more comfortable than on a membrane keyboard, for instance. And a few sentences of what we just typed out, such as, this is a test of this keyboard, it's easy to use so far, quick brown fox, so again, Pretty good in terms of accuracy. Again, the springs feel very consistent across all the keys, and I think you'll get used to it pretty quickly. Something that's pretty neat is that the keyboard does go into sleep automatically when the computer has also gone to sleep. So it tries to conserve on battery. For instance, right now the backlight is on, but if we shut the lid of the computer here, the keyboard will now again shut off. In the wireless mode, there's pretty much no latency or lag between typing, pressing on a key on the keyboard and having it pop up on screen as you can see there. So it pretty much happens in real time. So you can check out more details in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been just our hands-on quick review of the Utech Smart Mercury dual wired and wireless mechanical keyboard.